We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Kansas City, Missouri, where we get to visit with the second-year coach for the Avila Eagles, Coach Derek Alexander. Coach four and seven last season in year one, three and two though in divisional play there. First year of the divisional play there in the KCAC, so you're able to win, get a winning record in that Bissell division, and actually in that won three of the last four. So. Talk to me a little bit about year one as a whole, and and do you feel like that the momentum at the end is something you can take into this season? Yeah, our first year, I think, uh, you know, it went well for us. Obviously, we wanted to play a little bit better and have a better record, but I think, uh, you know, coming in with a new whole new system, whole new offense, whole new defense, all those guys learning a lot of new things, uh, you know, just coming into the spring, Everything was new for those guys. And then uh, once we hit the fall, uh, you know, still pretty new for those guys. And and I think, you know, the the longer we went on during the season, the better those guys got and picking up what we were trying to uh, install and in those guys uh, offensively and defensively. And like you said, uh, you know, we finished up the division strong, uh, winning three of our last four games, which uh, kind of helped us see that, you know, what we were preaching can work for us. Uh, we just got to make sure that we're all on the same page. Yeah, winning record in divisional play. I, I know that that has to be something good. Well, spring game this year, so not maybe not the same newness to it. There, there are some, some faces and names you all are familiar with one another, and then, of course, the system itself. Talk about the spring game. So our spring game went well. Um, like I said, so this is our second year, and uh, you know, going into spring it was a little bit different because now, hey, we we've got the offense, we have the defense, so now we can work on other things like uh, you know techniques and uh, doing a little bit more individual with those guys, trying to make sure that you know we're teaching those guys everything that we want them to do and how we want them to do it. Um, we didn't have any major injuries so that was that was a good thing for us and our, our spring game went well uh you know those guys competed with each other um and and spring overall i believe uh you know is going to help us uh, going into the fall I, you know it's always a positive when there's no injuries in the spring game i'm sure just uh, a, a blessing in and of itself an unspoken blessing lots of times it's not something that that you talk about unless something does happen but uh, with you coming back then, okay, now year two, uh, you come back, offensive coordinator comes back, defensive coordinator comes back, some of the, the folks up there at the, at the top end, I guess above the line, you might say. Um, is there anything in particular that you look to improve on with that in, in conjunction with the system in place? Uh, of course, um, you know, some of the things that we did last year were more our basic offense or base our, our defense is not real basic. <laughs> our, our defensive coordinator likes to do a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, I think with the, with him coming back and the same, some of the same coaches uh, coming back, uh, especially defensively, those guys have a better feel for what he's trying to accomplish. And offensively now we can, install a lot more we can uh, do some of the things that we uh just not our base offense now we can kind of get more intricate and in some of the things that we do um just because now they have a better feel for uh you know what we're trying to do we're visiting now with Derek alexander here on the summit on midwest sports net previewing the season coach alexander in his second year and coach the the offense uh, you're going to see some different names and, and folks who come out are, are going to have to get used to some different names. Eli Williams graduated last season. Jaquise Watkins, uh, he's moved on. Now you do have some of the, some of that, the rest of that running back room. Uh, and there are a number of players coming back there too, that, that may get an opportunity, but uh, specifically Kareem Chambers, kind of a, a wide end, a wide, well, a wide receiver tight end. <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to combine the two because right. uh, that's the kind of player he is. Uh, talk a little bit about that offense and and uh, Chambers coming back, some new faces. Yeah, well, uh, you know, with Eli leaving, uh, we're working out some other quarterbacks, to, uh, trying to see, you know, who's going to take over that spot. We've got some transfers coming in. And then, uh, of course, the guys that were already here with uh, Trevor Daniels, um, who, get, who did a good job in our spring game. Um, and then uh, we got a couple other guys coming in uh, to, to compete in that position. But like you mentioned, Kareem's coming back. Um, he's kind of a converted wide receiver tight end, like you mentioned. 
Uh, when I first got here, he was playing uh, wide receiver for us, and uh, we needed a tight end. We only had one, uh, and he was willing to do it, so he kind of moved into that position. So he's kind of a, a multi-position guy. Uh, it's going to be great for us. Um, got a couple of our receivers coming back with uh, Kendall Woolley and Jordan Cummings, uh, both who started for us last season. Uh, so we should be good outside. And like you mentioned, our running backs, uh, that room's good. It's pretty young. Uh, you know, Kenzie Carlock did a good job for us last year uh, until he got injured uh, in, in the games. But he's coming back. And uh, we've got a few few other guys we're working in uh, at running back. Coach, again, new faces. I know we're going to talk about that, which I guess it, it's an opportunity for some of these new faces on the defensive side of the ball to get to get used to what, uh, as you mentioned, is uh, an intricate defense. But you had a lot of, of multi-year starters last season. That again, just uh, it's part of part of the game. They move on after a period of time, use up that eligibility. So we'll be seeing some new faces on defense. Can you tell us a few of those? Yeah, uh, so uh, uh, some of our defensive backs, uh, two of our guys graduated that played well for us, Terrell Valentine and uh, Trayvon Miller. Uh, so we'll have to replace those guys. But we, we do have some guys coming back. Uh, defensive line, Ishe Smith uh, did a good job for us uh, last year. Massimo Garcia is going to be a senior. Th both those guys will be seniors this year, uh, which will help us on the defensive line. And uh, we've got some transfer guys that we brought in. Uh, that should help us out there. Um, Jay Wright at linebacker, uh, transfer from VUL, uh, had a great spring for us. He's going to be one of our best players out there. And, uh, you know, just the, all those other guys are going to have to fill in. Some guys that got some time last year, uh, some guys that didn't play a little, uh, as much last year uh, had a good spring. So I think our, our spring overall, was a great testing ground for those guys to see what we can do and see where, where we need to improve. Coach, last season, one field goal attempted. That's a little bit of an anomaly there. Now, to, to the credit of Dylan Globe, it went in. So good good for him, one for one. But that's not bad. If, if, if your field goal kicker is 100%, uh, definitely not bad there. He was a freshman last season. He's coming back. Tell us a little bit about special teams. Uh, so special teams was a spot for us that we, we – Definitely uh, took a look at. Uh, we need to improve on that. Our kickoffs and again, our one field goal attempt, and and some of that was situational, like where we really didn't feel like we could attempt field goals um, a little bit too far out. Um, but Dylan's been working hard uh, on and getting stronger, and uh, you know I, I I believe we should be able to attempt a few more field goals this year. Uh, we brought in another kicker and Juan Delgado transfer. Uh, so we got a couple kickers now that uh, we feel like uh, can help us out, uh, especially on kickoffs and field goals. Uh, uh, punting was was one of our wide receivers, and he ended up graduating last year. So we're we're kind of on the hunt for a punter as well. Um, Gary Elder was our backup punter, and he's more of a tight end uh, guy for us now this year. He's been doing double duty for us. Uh, so special teams are always a, a big spot for any team. Um, you need to have some decent special teams to help you out in the, in that third phase of the game. But uh, hopefully, you know, this year we can get a few more field goals and, and, and stay at 100%. There you, there you go. No matter how many it is, you want to stay at 100%. So I, I understand that. Well, Coach, the season gets underway. Not uh, not too far down the road from now, less than three months away. Saturday, August thirty first, and you to be at home at the Z for uh, Bethany to come to town, and then September seventh, following Saturday, on the road at Southwestern. That was a wild game last season, no doubt about that. Crossover games in the KCAC. Still getting used to saying that, so bear with me on that. And then divisional play back in the Bissell Division, October nineteenth after the bye week. And you're on the road at Kansas Wesleyan. Tell us a little bit about 24. Uh, 24, I mean, it's, it's really the same schedule, just flipped uh, home and away. Um, and there's a couple games last season, like you mentioned, Southwestern. Uh, those guys jumped out to a big lead on us, and then we were able to uh, make a little bit of a comeback, got it, got it close to within one score there. So hopefully this year, and our whole season last year was more of a you know, a slow start and then pick it up in the second half a little bit. Hopefully 
uh, this season. We can, we can keep those games a little bit closer in the first half so that, uh, you know, we have an opportunity in the second half to, to uh, take the win. Uh, but, you know, I think last season kind of propelled, propelled us into this year where we did win three of our last four games, and uh, we're trying to keep that momentum rolling uh, going into 24. All right. Avila Eagles, year two of the Derek Alexander era. Coach, success to you all this season. We'll follow the Eagles through the year. We appreciate you taking some time to preview 2024 with us here on the Summit. All right. I appreciate you having me on.